Leaders in government, education, nonprofit, and business came together at the annual legislative breakfast, united in one common goal, ensuring a strong future for Montgomery County. It's pretty tough these days uh, in Washington, D.C. Senator Chris Van Hollen told the crowd about efforts nationally to fight a government shutdown, addressing the opioid epidemic, and work that advances the county's goals at the national level. I am pleased to report that the funding from the federal level for the Purple Line uh, remains in place, and that's a project uh, that's moving forward. And the WMATA money for our Washington Metro, we will get the $150 million federal allocation. Council President Nancy Navarro centered her remarks around a similar theme. She said there is no room for hate in Montgomery County and there must be respect and unity. The resurrection and normalization of hate and bigotry, this is not who we are. As we witness daily attacks on our core values from the highest office in the nation, we must all double down on our resolve to defend the fundamental core values of inclusion, respect and freedom here at home. President Navarro also stressed the need for quality early child care and education, which she says are critical to remaining economically competitive. This is indeed an economic imperative. We must be strategic and invest in the early years because it is simply the best return on our investment and prepares all children to be ready to learn. Newly elected County Executive Mark Elrich told the crowd the success of the county will come from its ability to work together. He focused his remarks on transportation and education and said what the Kerwin Commission is trying to do is important, but funding both teachers and classrooms are a priority. It's important that we, that we get the solutions to this, um, and that's why we're going to have to work very closely with our legislative partners to make sure we get a fair solution to this. Because I think what Kerwin wants to do is good for Montgomery County and it's good for the rest of the state, but it can't be funded on the back of Montgomery County. That is a non-starter. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.